Visit Edwards Flowers on Elm Street for the best floral arrangements and gifts in Youngstown. The professional florists at Edwards Flowers can help you find the perfect floral arrangement for every occasion and offers same-day delivery for your last-minute gift needs at no extra cost. Edwards Flowers can also deliver nationwide through their trusted florist network. Edwards Flowers, the perfect gift for every occasion. Edwards Flowers is a proud sponsor of the Youngstown Phantoms. And now it is time for the USHL CCM Forward of the Week, and that was Joel Farabee, member of Team USA's U18 squad. In two games this past weekend, Joel had two goals and three assists and a plus-four rating. Farabee tallied a goal and an assist, including the game-winning goal in Team USA's 4-3 come-from-behind victory over Waterloo on Friday before scoring a natural hat-trick and dishing out two more helpers in an 8-3 win over the Blackhawks on Saturday, giving him seven points on the weekend. He's been out standing in USHL competition recently with 10 points in his last five USHL games. Farabee has been a steady offensive force for Team USA all season with 21 points in 24 games in his first USHL season. Your defenseman of the week was Connor Mackey of the Phantoms opponent this weekend, the Green Bay Gamblers. In three games played this past weekend, Mackey had a goal and two assists and was a plus two rating. Mackey picked up the game-winning goal and added an assist on Friday, his 13th multi-point performance of the season in a 5-1 victory over Team USA before dishing out his second helper of the weekend on Saturday in a 5-0 shutout that completed the Gamblers' weekend sweep of the U18, U17 squad. Excuse me. The Minnesota State University Mankato commit has been outstanding all season long as he leads all USHL defensemen in scoring with 42 points in 50 games. He is also the only defenseman in the league to sit in the top 20 of overall USHL HL scoring. A native of Barrington, Illinois, Mackey previously played for Team Illinois and Barrington High School and was a 13th round pick and 197th overall by the Gamblers in the 2015 USHL Phase 2 draft. This is Mackey's third Defenseman of the Week award this season as he previously earned the honor on October 31st and November 7th. And the USHL CCM Goaltender of the Week is Mattis Kivlenix of the Anderson Cup race leading Sioux City Musketeers. Last weekend, Kivlenix went 2-0-0 with a 1.01 goals against average and a .959 save percentage. Kivlenix made 32 saves on 34 shots in Sioux City's 2-1 victory in Cedar Rapids on Saturday before stopping all 15 shots he faced in the Musketeers' 3-0 shutout in Madison over the Capitals on Sunday, earning him his second straight goaltender of the week award. The Minnesota State University Mankato Commit has now won his last nine starts between the pipes, dating back to February 3rd and has still not lost back-to-back -back starts all year. Kivlenix remains the USHL goaltender leading in multiple categories, including wins, goals against average, save percentage, and saves. He's also the only goaltender to have stopped more than 1,000 shots so far this year. The Riga Latvia native previously played for Cooley Region Chill, the Forest Lake Lakers, and... Prisma High School in Latvia. He was selected fifth overall by the Musketeers in the 2016 USHL Phase 2 Draft. Those were your USHL CCM Players of the Week. CCM is the official equipment provider of the United States Hockey League. And now it is time to take a look at the up-to-date USHL standings as of March 8th. And to bring you the Western Conference, which features the team leading in the chase for the Anderson Cup. Here's Sean Stewart. Thanks, Matt. And you're right, that team that is leading is the Sioux City Musketeers with 71 points, leading both the Western and the Eastern Conferences. In second place are the Waterloo Blackhawks with 66 points, and they have a record of 31-14-2-2. In third place, the Des Moines Buccaneers with 64 points. They have a record of 30-15-1-3. And, and in that final playoff spot in the Western Conference are the Fargo Force, who have a record of 28-15-4-1, which is good for 60 one points. Just behind them in fifth place are the Lincoln Stars. Through 49 games, the Stars have a record of 26, 18, 4, and 1, and that is good for 57 points. In sixth place are the Omaha Lancers. Through 49 games, they have a record of 19, 24, 5, and 1, and that is good for 44 points. In seventh place, the Tri-City Storm. Through 49 games, have a record of 17, 25, 5, and 2 for 41 points. And rounding out the West are the Sioux Falls Stampede, who have a record of 17, 25, 2, and 4 with uh, points at 40. And now for the Eastern Conference. In first place with a record of 31, 12, 2, and 3. And 67 points are the Chicago Steel, trailing them by just one point are the Dubuque Fighting Saints at 30, 
12, 4, and 2. And again, that's 66 points. Four points behind the Saints, but having played one more game are the Muskegon Lumberjacks at 29-16, That They have 62 points. One point behind the Jacks, also at 49 games played, are the Youngstown Phantoms. 28-16, 4-1, 61 points. Trailing the Phantoms, but having played one more game are the Green Bay Gamblers. 26-22-2, 56 points. Bloomington Thunder are 19, 23, 3 and 2 at 43 points. They're in sixth. In seventh are the Madison Capitals, 20, 26, 1 and 1, 42 points. Team USA is in eighth at 18, 23, 1 and 2. That gives them 39 points. And in ninth, and already eliminated from playoff contention, are the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders at 9, 35, 3 and and one, which gives them 22 points on the year. Speaking of playoff contention, let's go ahead and take a look at the magic numbers for the teams in each conference. Sean, why don't you go ahead and get the magic numbers for the West. For the West, we are looking at 9 for Sioux City, 14 for Waterloo, 16 for Des Moines, 19 for Fargo, and those are your Teams that are still in, play, in the playoff race and just outside of the playoff bracket are the Fargo Force. Their magic number is 23. Omaha with 36. Tri-City with 39. And Sioux Falls, their magic number is 40. So no teams eliminated in the Western Conference just yet. Although if for Sioux Falls, I do believe they're going to have to win out and hope for Fargo to lose out if they want to have a shot of sneaking into the playoffs. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Eastern Conference. And, this, and again, these magic numbers are just to clinch a playoff spot. That means you would finish ahead of the team that is currently in fifth place at their maximum number of points. So, for Chicago, their magic number is 10. For Dubuque, their magic number is 10. For Muskegon, 15. Youngstown, 16. Green Bay, 21. Bloomington, 32. Madison, 35. And Team USA, 38. And again, Cedar Rapids has been eliminated from playoff contention. S teams remaining on the schedule... Just taking a look at strength of schedule remaining. Looks like the Phantoms and Green Bay actually have the easiest two schedules remaining as after they play each other this weekend, the Phantoms will only play one team with a winning record the rest of the year. And then Green Bay, they won't play anybody with a winning record the rest of the year, Sean. Yeah, I mean, they, they do play Chicago coming up, which is the uh, Eastern leading team. But other than that, they have a game against the uh, West in Fargo. So it, it looks like Youngstown and Green Bay has the easiest. Let's hope that uh, the schedules kind of pan out into the, the correct ways and that if you know things don't just stay the same, that maybe Youngstown can, can jump up into that third place. And then you take a look at the Western Conference out of their remaining... Oh, 11 games. Waterloo only has two games against teams that aren't in the playoffs. Uh, and Des Moines also, out of their remaining 11 games, looks like they have six against teams that aren't in the playoffs. Yes, yeah, six. So some tough schedules out there. Team USA, they have to absolutely run a gauntlet. They have 16 games left, and only five of them are against non-playoff teams. So Team USA... Uh, and the 17s and 18s looks like they'll both be in action every weekend so as Team USA tries to complete their 60-game USHL schedule between the two squads. Let's also go ahead and get you the magic numbers for the Anderson Cup. Uh, right now, Sioux City with a one-point lead over Chicago. Actually, a four-point lead over Chicago. I'm sorry. So their magic number is 21. Chicago magic number is 25. Dubuque, 25. Waterloo, 26. Des Moines, 28. Muskegon, 30. Fargo and Youngstown both at 31. A magic number to get to the Anderson Cup and clinch home round or home 
ice advantage, I'm sorry, throughout the entire playoffs. And so that was a look at this week's USHL standings and the players of the week. And that will wrap it up for us here on this week's episode of Inside the Glass. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. It was nice to actually be able to bring you a show this week. Hopefully we can make this more of a regular occurrence. So for Sean Stewart, my name is Matt Lipsack. Can't wait to see everybody at the Cavelli Center on Friday night as the Phantoms take on the Green Bay Gamblers. Sound out. Fade to black.